Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, if you've watched our recent video on uh, the difference between spot price and market price, uh, this is going to look real familiar to you. But um, I wanted to shoot this as a separate educational video um, and also as a um, kind of a, uh, a heads up, if you will. Um, I'm not a financial analyst. I'm not a licensed trader or anything like that. Um, uh, but I've been buying metals, uh, including industrial metals, for uh, over a decade. Um, and been following the markets uh, at the spot price level, which we talked about in the, in the last video, um, for probably over 10 years. So I've seen copper, for example, uh, when we talk in our corn roll videos about copper melt value, I've seen copper go from 99 cents a pound to as high as six bucks a pound uh, on the industrial metal side. Um, there were times that I was paying $14 a pound for special copper for the industry that I was in at the time. Uh, copper right now has come back down or what the technicians we say retraced, which just means it went backwards, went back down. It's gone back down to about uh, a little less than $2 a pound right now. But that, as we all know, is going to change. We've got historic low interest rates. We've got historic low metals value, or not historic low metal values, but um, uh, the lowest we've had in, in over 10 years. So, or almost 10 years. So, um, in this video, what I want to talk about, since we've talked about the difference between spot and market and how you acquire it, is this video is, even if you're coin roll hunting, Okay, and you're and you're finding silver, which we all know. If we've been doing this for a while, uh, the last four or five years or more, it's getting harder and harder to find the silver in our coin roll hunting. Um, you know, every once in a while, somebody will score a big hit, uh, and they'll get you know 20, 30, 40. That's extremely rare these days. Uh, if you find one, if you buy a box of halves, and you find one or two, like we've done in a couple of our videos you're doing pretty good. You may have to go through 10 boxes to get three of these, you know, um, or you may go through one box and get a hundred. You don't know. Um, the main thing to remember when you're coin row hunting, and we've said this in every video, I think just about, if you find one of these, it costs you 50 cents and your time. If you buy one of these, which has the same value, it costs you market value, whatever market value is at the time. If market value goes back up and it's 35, 40, 50, 100, where some analysts are saying it could go, then obviously your cost of acquisition is cheaper per ounce of silver. Finding these by coin roll hunting, uh, and I know there's folks out there that think that this is a waste of time. Oh, you're only making a dollar an hour, 50 cents an hour, you know? Really? Okay. Uh, if I find three of these in uh, the hour that it takes me to go through a box of halves, just three, I've made the equivalent value of one ounce of silver, which as of today is 20 bucks. So that's 20 bucks an hour. Cash. No uncle. Right in your pocket. And it costs you buck fifty. Um, how many of us would say no to that? If someone gave us a box and said, I guarantee you that there's at least three silver half dollars in this box that you're going to search. It's going to take you an hour to search it. You're going to get those three and you get to keep them. It's going to cost you buck fifty and an hour of your time to get that. You're going to say no? Oh, it's not worth my time. It's, it's, it only works out to a buck an hour. No, it doesn't. And if you are lucky enough that they look like this, you notice that they're in two by two flips or two by two coin uh, cards. These are in the coin collection. They're in my coin collection, to be exact. So they have a numismatic value. These aren't six dollar coins. These are more than six dollar coins. So what I'm talking about is the melt value of these metals. If these were smooth, these would have the same value as that. Okay. These have numismatic value. So they're even better. If you find a proof coin roll hunting, you find you might find a twenty or thirty dollar coin. If you find an error, you might find a hundred dollar coin or more. So 
you know, to the naysayers that give you a hard time, tell them to hang it on their nose, go back to their day job, whatever it is. Um, but the point of this is emphasizing to you guys, right now we are just coming out of what I call the summer of cheap silver. I've heard a lot of different phrases thrown around, but to me, that one is, is the one that just kind of sticks because, as I said in previous videos, um, as recent as two years ago, I was paying upwards of $40 plus for an ounce of silver. Um, <coughs> excuse me, whether it was bar, silver, maple, Australian, silver eagles, whatever it was, it was upwards of 48 bucks a coin, okay? Now I can buy those coins all day for 19 to 21 bucks. Um, then we talked about the spot price in our last video. The reason I'm saying buy silver now is, as I explained in the last video, on Friday, silver spot price went up 70, approximately 74 cents. As we shoot this video, silver is approximately $15.74, the spot. Okay, now it may have changed while we're shooting these videos. It probably has. But if you would have bought silver right now, it would be based on a base silver spot price of $15.74 an hour. Uh, excuse me, $15.74 in dollars. Um, if, however, Thursday afternoon last week, before the run-up of 74 cents on Friday and the additional 45 or 50 cents today, that's a buck and a quarter move in two trading days. And, you know, again, the naysayers are going to go, oh, wow, dollar and a quarter went up. Big deal. Yeah, it is. Here's why. All summer, silver has been going, as we said, between... 14.50 an ounce spot price and 15.50 an ounce spot price. So it's been moving back and forth about a dollar swing. So today we're at 15.74. Okay? That's a 10% move in two trading days. Now, let your buddies again, or let the geniuses out there that think that this is all a waste of time, what we're doing, uh, or that you shouldn't go out and buy silver, a 10% move in two business days, okay? How many stocks do that? How many, how many times has your 401k done that? Is your 401k as good a shape as it was in 2008? Maybe it is if you hung on to it, but if you did like most folks, you panicked and cashed out, okay? Do you want to do that again? Because when this money, this cash, this, this fiat currency that we think is worth something, if the government goes bankrupt or the economy crashes again, which would you rather have? A pocket full of the paper, which some people might not even take it anymore, or a pocket full of silver or a box full of silver? I've seen some of you guys out there that have three, four, or 5,000 ounces in your stack that you're putting up, you know, videos about. Um, <laughs> there's a guy I think that has like 100,000 ounces or something. Um, the point being, there's not a lot of things out there that go up 10% or go down 10% in one day. If it goes down 10% or even 5%, which would be 50 cents, if it goes back down to $15 or $14.50 and you bought it at $15.50, don't worry. Go buy more because here's another fancy term they throw around, dollar cost averaging. So here's, here's how that works in simple terms. It applies to your 401k. It applies to this stuff too. Say you go out and you buy one of those for one of those based on the spot price at $15.74, and that's what the dealer charges you per ounce for that coin. And next week, that coin costs you, uh, the spot price goes down, and next week that coin only costs you $14.75. And now, your two ounces of silver, you divide that by two, 
it means that the cost of the first coin was 50 cents cheaper. That's your average between the two. Now, when you buy 100 of them, it averages out over 100. And over time, as this goes up and down and up and down, just like stocks, it's the average of what it costs you to get that silver. That's what dollar cost averaging is. The, the major difference between poor people and rich people is not that they're smarter investors. It's not that they're scoring big hits of silver and coin roll hunting versus the rest of us. It's the fact that they're doing this every week or every month or every payday. They're doing it every opportunity that they have. When they get a bonus check instead of buying a new bass boat or a new colored TV, when the one they've got is perfectly good, they go out and buy this stuff. Or they go out and buy stocks that are dirt cheap, that if they're in that and they're really good at it, then maybe for them that's the way to go. For the rest of us guys, guys and girls, this is how you make money. If you wind up doing, if you do what some guys that I know have done, where every week when they get their paycheck and they go to the bank and they get their money from the ATM, and they go to the local coin shop and they buy an ounce of silver every Friday, every Saturday. At the end of one year, if you do nothing else but do that, and if the market price really doesn't change from what we've talked about, at the end of the year, you got 52 ounces of silver. Um, three lattes, something like that. Three Benjamins, something like that. So if you did 40 bucks, every Friday, that's 104 ounces that you have at the end of the year. You catch my drift? So how many things can you cut that you're wasting money on or that you're just drinking or flushing or whatever you want to call it? How much of that can you redirect into doing this every single week? So say a year from now, it costs you 35 bucks for that same ounce of silver. But you've been buying two a week. you got 104 ounces sitting there. And over that time, it's gone from $15 to $35. Well, yeah, the last couple have cost you this. And in between, they've cost you something different. But if you take that 104 and you take the cost, the total cost of what you've put in to buy these, put it down on a piece of paper, say, I've spent this much money in the last year to buy 104 ounces of silver. And this is what it's worth today is 104 times 35. And now you know what you've got because you've got $3,570 worth of silver. But I bet you it cost you more like $2,000, $2,500 to get it. Again, that's about a one-third growth, maybe more. So I'm telling you right now, guys, Silver is probably not going to go below $13, okay? It's hit $14 a couple of times this last few months. Uh, and it hasn't hit, I don't think it's hit $14 exactly, but it, it's been in the low 14s, which I haven't seen in a long, long time. Uh, I had a friend advise me to buy silver when it was 14 back in about 2007 or 2008. And I kind of chuckled and said, yeah, thanks for the advice, and I didn't do it. And I got in when silver was like 20 bucks because I saw how fast it was taking off. And I missed that first six or seven dollars. But I kept buying. So what I'm trying to tell you is don't make the mistake I made and say, oh, yeah, I'll get around to it next week. I'll get around to it next week. Uh, I've got a friend that I know that has been talking to me and asking me all kinds of questions at work about this stuff. And he keeps telling me how he wants to save money for his kid for college and all that kind of stuff. And he really wants to buy silver. And when silver was down to $14.10 an ounce, $14.20 an ounce, I told him, you know, he told me a dollar figure that he had in his hands that he could go buy silver with. And I told him how many ounces he could buy. And it was a big chunk of silver, okay? Like monster box size chunk of silver. I asked him a week ago, you buy the buy the buy the, have you bought the silver? Oh, I've been meaning to do that. I said, well, guess what? It's going to cost you an extra five hundred bucks for that one box of silver. He goes, what? I said, yeah, it's gone up a dollar just in the last couple of days, man. 
And he's like, oh, shoot. Well, now I'm not going to buy it. Why? Because if it goes back to $48 and he's buying it based on 16 that's three times the money. 300% return in as little as a year or two based on prior history of silver. And nobody knows where this stuff's going. Okay? The only thing we do know is governments are buying this as fast as they can. Banks are buying this as fast as they can. And when I say as fast as they can, I'm talking $5 billion, $9 billion at a time. Okay? Tons at a time. Atmex is running short on silver. The mint has been running out of silver. The last time they ran out of silver was 2008. And at the peak of the crisis in 2008, they ran out of silver three times. They've already run out of silver twice this year. When that happens, when the market catches up with the fact that there isn't enough silver available for the people that want to buy it, we all understand this from high school economics. If there's not enough of these, for these that are trying to buy them, that's when the price goes up crazy. Get on the train now. Buy silver now. Hope you guys like this. I hope this all made sense. It's something that's a passion to me personally. It, I've seen it happen too many times. Don't get left at the station. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope these educational videos are, are hitting you where you live. Appreciate the comments, the questions, uh, the ideas. Like I said, these come from questions and things that you guys shoot to us. So we really appreciate it. So till the next time, JB Coins, signing off.